Hi, welcome to Load Running Tutorials. So in this video, we are going to see how to prepare script for web services. Okay, so actually, what is a web services? Web services are the, those components which is useful in communicate uh, between two systems or two applications or many applications. So web services is nothing but transferring the data from one applications to another applications okay so which may be software or applications or rest api so so web services are created in xml format so which is a http protocols so which is having uh, different components wsdls rest apis json format Okay, today we are going to see WSDL format. This is a web services description language. Okay, so in Load Runner, uh, creating web services it is very easy. Why? Because they are uh, giving only web services uh, protocols. For REST, you can use same HTTP, but coming to WSDL files, you need to use web services protocols. Okay. So let's uh, start our uh, creating web services script in Load Runner. So by this uh, video, you will learn how to record web services script and how to uh, enhance uh, your uh, script in virtual user generator. So how to execute the script. So what are the runtime settings uh, you need to <coughs> change, uh, modify runtime settings. So as per this video, you will uh, get a real time knowledge on uh, web services scripting. Okay, let's start uh, our uh, scripting part. Go to file, new script and solutions. Okay, select web services. So these are my scripting part. Just enter. So I'm using a uh, flight services so which is uh, easy for to understand from this tutorial so you can use uh, your web services okay in real time click on create okay it will create the script see uh, here we are getting different actions virtual user initial actions and the next, next one is actions where we are going to record writing every script in actions and the next one is a virtual user end actions so these are the three actions it will create okay if you are working with web applications so that you can use login uh, script in virtual user initialization you can use logout uh, action in virtual user any action okay so next time into extra file these are the files automatically will be created so these are the runtime settings parameters okay, replay log okay so we'll see one by one okay, click close this one okay let's just uh, click on here okay click enter save your script just go to SOA tool here say SOA tools manage services and add service call so we need to import our WSDL. These are the window it will open. Import, delete, compare, and view WSDL description, operations, connection settings. If you have any authentications, proxy setting you can use. UDDI data, protocol and security. See these are the empty. If you import your service, it will fill every details. Okay, import. So I'm using a WSDL file. This is a URL format. Just uh, click on import. It will import all uh, WSDL request. See, you can you want you have any IP address you can overwrite. Okay, this is a dot toolkit is a dot for dot for framework. These are so okay, my system original locations service name. See, coming to operation, these are the uh, requests. It is available in this web services, WS services. You can click on view with WS services. It will open. 
everything in XML format. Okay. If you have any connection settings, you can use. Now click on apply. Oh, sorry, sorry. You need to click on OK. Now you have to record the script. Just go to SO tool, add service call. See here it is displaying service, port name, target address. These are the these are the operations you need to perform. So I'm taking create flight order as a operation. You can consider that these are the one request. So it is having a soap headers, input arguments, output arguments. Here we are going to fill up our details. Click on this one. It is having class, customer name, departure date, flight number, number of tickets. So class economy small letters. Yes, insert uh, customer name. Okay, departure date. Flight number zero eight nine. Number of tickets is one. Coming to output arguments, you need to check order number okay, total price just click on this one I'll always you need to save the parameters output parameters okay this is the input parameters class name is not saving we will save it in a script click on ok see it, like this it will generate web service call okay step name what is the step name this is a request name create flight order underscore 101 SOAP method HTTP, this is HTTP flight service, flight service methods create flight order. Okay, this is the method in flight service. Response param, this is the response service is the HTTP flight services. This is the SOAP results, so this will automatically generate so snapshot. So these are the input parameters we have given. See, these are it will automatically generate. See here it is give, give economy. This is a class. So I have given these are the begin arguments. End arguments. Begin result, end result. I have given this one parent order number. Okay, if you save this script and uh, next enter. So start transaction. Start and end transaction. LR underscore start control space transaction. Okay, you create flight order. Just give number compulsory. It is easy to identify if you are having multiple uh, script. Okay, now it will give in lar underscore end transaction. Simply enter here, create flight order. Okay, LR underscore auto. This auto will give pass or fail. Okay. Okay, our script is ready. Let's uh, run our script. Before that, you need to go to sometimes settings. This is the number of duration is a one time, it will run. Facing is nothing. Log, you need to select extended log, parameters, data, advanced trace. Just click on OK and save. Now run your script. So here it will see step navigator, solution explorer, and everything it will see. This is a replay log. See here parameters, order number and total price saved it in output parameters. Okay. So with this output parameters you can use uh, if condition you want to write if conditions, any condition you can use on this output 
parameter that's why i have selected these are the successful end with pass status okay so and uh, coming to this uh, transactions you can see what are the duration it will take in 1.54 seconds okay 1.54 seconds it has taken to complete then coming to test the result see run started at 9.03.37 run ended at 9.03.45 seconds okay coming to result one past one Iteration is a one. Click on this action summary. Past. Next, uh, you can see HTTP request details here. End summary is uh, nothing. We have not used any script. Flight orders. This is a URL WSD location toolkit. And uh, testing aspect positive. Web service call was successful. Past everything it will display. This is a action summary. Iteration one. See, I'm giving a request. How it is passing? Class economy, customer name, date. Flight number, number of tickets. So success response is order number forty one. Total price one ninety six. Like this, uh, you can uh, create script for web services. In my next lesson, you will see how to parameterize in Load Runner. Whether it could be web services or HTTP request. So I am going to show you in web services so that uh, it is very easy. You can practice for uh, web applications. Uh, where we can use means uh, if you have any login, different different login details. At that time you can use parameterization. If you are uh, filling any customer registration forms, at that time you can use uh, parameterizations. Okay, that's all, folks. Uh, in my next lesson, you will see parameterization in Load Runner. Thank you. Thank you for watching uh, my video. Please subscribe for more videos. So uh, I'm uh, creating new videos for uh, Load Runner upcoming lessons. So please watch my previous videos also. So it is very useful. So I'm giving real time examples so you can directly apply into your projects. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please like and provide your valuable comments. Yeah, thank you.